Hey there, Leo. Welcome to reading for uh, mid-January 2024. We're just going to jump right in here. You have this card that says, all the diamonds in the sky. And you have this other card that says, uh, weavers know that all is God. So I feel for a lot of you that you are kind of looking or you're in a place for looking for a new opportunity. This is the Dreamweaver's Oracle, by the way. Um, and you have the Lover's the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Definitely could be new love coming in for you if you're looking for love. I feel like you're clear on love or something. I don't know, let's see. <laughs> let's see what comes up here. Um, I think that you're clear on an opportunity or something like that. I feel there's a lot of success coming in for you as well in in like whatever it is that you are doing in your life. And I dropped a card. We'll put it to the side here. It wasn't. It didn't really come out, but it just dropped. So there you go. But uh, let's see what is going on for you. So you have the Lovers, Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is like self-imposed restriction. By the way, I'm doing past, present, future outcome. So this is your past position. And I feel for a lot of you that um, you, you have been like stuck or you've been trying to set yourself free in some way. For some of you, I feel this has to do with work, like what you do for work or... Um, you know, even like what you are going to do for work, something like that. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe you're not sure what you want to do for work, even if even if you have a job, right? Maybe you are, um, you know, kind of like saying to yourself, I'm not sure um, what I would even want to do. Um, so again, we're going to dig into this. You have the lovers here. Uh, definitely could be love coming in for you. Although it looks like some of you have walked away from something from the past here. And, um, you know, you could be attracting a person who has also been left out in the cold by another person. We go down Seven of Swords to the Eight of Cups, and then right next to the Eight of Cups, we have the Five of Pentacles. But that last row is also going to represent the good stuff. And so the Five of Pentacles in this reading is going to be good no matter what. And I kind of get the feeling that you could be attracting a person, like, who has been through something very similar to what you have been through in life. Uh, you have the Queen of Swords here. You know, it's weird. You go Queen of Swords to the Seven of Swords Tower to the Three of Cups. So it's almost like you see, um, you know, maybe a person lied, cheated, stole from you or something like that. And it's like you see the truth of the matter in the situation. They had a third party right here. I do not personally read the Three of Cups as a third party. But what I will say is I read holistically. I take every single card into account. And like putting this all together here looks to me like you... Um, you know, you kind of were in a third party or something like that, and you just see it clearly. Uh, this could have left you feeling stuck uh, for a while, but, you know, like I said, I feel like you've set yourself free. For all of you, I do feel like you're trying to be tactical in your finances. The reason I say that is because you have the Seven of Swords here. Seven of Swords is a, is a card of tactics, um, and, you know, it can represent lying, cheating, stealing, but really, it's a good card. <laughs> uh, I don't care what anyone says about the Seven of Swords. It's a golden card. Golden cards in the tarot are meant to be positive no matter what. He's go going to war, but in a different way. And so, you know, I feel like there are tactical ways for you to improve your finances is what it's saying. With the lovers, you have the lovers. Basically, the universe saying I meant what I said. You could be attracting a Gemini as well. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, you have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, someone messed uh, messed around. <laughs> Knight of Wands, in and out in energy, inconsistent energy. Um, this could also be a job. You know, if you have a job or a career that's inconsistent, like maybe you only, um, you know, maybe the pay is not consistent for whatever reason, or you know, maybe you're a contract or whatever. I feel a lot of you are like trying to find ways to improve your finances, or you are improving your finances, or will be. I don't know. I feel good financially here, um, which is a good thing, obviously. With the Queen Eight of Swords, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is a card of resourcefulness, and I feel a lot of you could be doing things to improve your resources or to grow your resources. And again, just intuitively, I feel that there's something going on with money here, uh, even though you don't have a lot of money cards yet. I have a feeling, as we clarify, there will be a lot more money cards just based off of what I'm feeling here. And so I feel for a lot of you that there could be some, it's like you're going to be doing something that improves your finances, even if you don't think you are. <laughs> and so, you know, there you go. Uh, I'm also not worried about the tower, by the way, because this right here is a move. Chariot, tower, world, literally could be just you moving or deciding to move. Um, you know, I personally, I like the tower anyway, but, um, you know, those three together are just definitely like a move, right? Uh, next, you have in the area of, the unexpected, you have this children card it says childlike, innocence, fun. 
You have this freedom card. It says casual, being single, lightness. So some of you could be dealing with children. I would definitely be careful of getting pregnant this year because a lot of people um, in the 2024 readings had stuff about getting pregnant. Obviously, if you want to get pregnant, go for it. Um, but if you don't, or then, and if you cannot, then obviously this part of the message is not for you. But uh, it, it could also just be you needing to be more lighthearted and free and uh, you know uh, uh, not caring about every little thing that's going on in your life, right? Needing to be more playful, which I encourage everyone to do right now. I think it's like really what people need to be doing. So, you know, that's what I would do with this energy. Uh, you have the Six of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Chariot. The Six of Wands is the card of success, growth, and abundance. So I feel like there is a lot of success coming in for you with the Six of, six of Swords. I also feel, or Six of Wands, I feel you could be having a victory um, as well here. So there's like some sort of victory coming in, in with this row. You have this, you also have the Chariot as well. And so I feel for a lot of you that... Um, you know, this is about doing something tactical because we have the Seven of Swords right here. The Seven of Swords, again, he is stealing those swords from that army in the background. So instead of going to war, he is stealing the swords so they can't be used against him in battle. The Seven of Swords basically says that there are like many ways for you to do anything that you want to do. And sometimes, you know, charging right at something like you would in war and trying to conquer it is not the right answer. So for a lot of you, I feel that there are like better ways to do things. The Six of Wands, you know, it's interesting that we have Six of Wands to Seven of Swords because the Six of Wands, like he's been to war, the guy on this card, and now he's being celebrated because he is coming back from war. Uh, but then you have the Seven of Swords. It's almost like saying that you have, with the Six of Wands, that you have been to war. It's like you have learned the ins and outs of life or whatever you're dealing with. Now the Seven of Swords is saying, are you going to apply that knowledge to a new situation, right? So I feel for a lot of you, you've been through the learning and now it's time to see like, see what you're made of, right? <laughs> I feel like you're showing people what you're made of here, um, Leo, is kind of what this reading is saying. You even have the chariot and the chariot is about setting yourself apart. You see the, that city behind him and he is leaving that city behind him behind on the chariot card. So for a lot of you, I feel that you could be leaving something behind and setting yourself apart. Again, really, he is setting himself apart. He is making himself unique. He is doing something uh, different with his life. He's trying to be different as well. So I kind of feel that you are setting yourself apart here. And, uh, you know, obviously this is a good thing. It's going to lead to a lot of success, growth, abundance, you know, stuff like that. So that's kind of like what I feel here. Uh, let's let's see though. With the Six of Wands, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Very good. You know, uh, fortune. your fortune's changing. I, I Like I would grab onto it here. And I also feel that you need to like look for opportunity right now, right? Like, which I think is true for everybody. But, you know, I almost feel that some of you are in this place where you're like, oh, uh, well, there's nothing I can do to improve my financial situation or to improve my life. But there really is. I feel there are a lot of opportunities. I also feel this could be you. I'm getting something about taking another chance or something. So uh, I feel like you could be kind of like taking a chance on love again or something if you want love. Could be an Aquarius. You could be attracting another fixed sign, uh, you know, an Aquarius. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. It could also be a Capricorn. With the Seven of Swords, you have the Seven of Cups. Two sevens is internal fears that don't exist. I feel that you are fearing a tower moment. It's like you're fearing that something really bad is going to happen. You're fearing that, um, you know, everything is going to come collapsing down in your life or whatever, but like, it's not going to happen. I also feel that really the part of the solution is the three cups to ask for help. So if you're like worried financially, if you're worried about your business or whatever it is you work on, I feel this is saying like, don't be afraid to ask a person for help. With the chariot, you have the temperance card. You have the temperance card in the next row as well. And so setting yourself apart could be the change that's needed here. Temperance is about alchemy, turning your situation around, turning one thing into another. It's about alchemizing a situation. And I've been saying to you for weeks, Leo, that I always get these messages for you about like, I just think there are easier ways that you could do anything that you're doing. And I think this is true for everyone. I literally feel that we are in a time where the universe is begging people to make things more simple. <laughs> it's like saying, you know, here's the problem is I think when we have problems like what's going on in the world, like, you know, inflation, banks collapsing, which we're just going to see more of this stuff, right? Um, it's like when we have these problems, I think people think like it makes our brains think that we need a harder solution because we're taught you have to work hard to get money, right? Or whatever the case may be. So it, whenever we have big problems in the world, we look for, um, you know, we think that there needs to be some overly complicated solution, but really there probably doesn't. Really, we could probably go more simple and have a better result. So if you, if you personally have big problems, 
problems in your life. I feel this is saying like you don't need to look for big, pro uh, you know, you don't you don't need to uh, like um, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. But what I'm trying to say is I feel like there are simple solutions to the things that you're dealing with in life and you just need to find those solutions. I also feel like anything you can do to remove resistance from your life will be very, very helpful for you, obviously. Uh, next, in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this dog card. It says loyalty, determination. You have this also this bride card. It says wife and engagement on it. Some of you could be attracting a wife. Uh, you could be the wife. So you could be attracting a husband, of course. You know, just whatever. Take it how it resonates. Um, if you don't want to get married, you could also just be attracting something that you're committing to. And even if you do want to get married, like, I, I think that this is true for a lot of people right now. Again, I think, you know, as a collective, we are pretty much all committing to new things. So, you know, it doesn't surprise me when something like this comes up. But I also feel like something is being triggered inside of you with this loyalty and determination card. So I do see you being very determined to be successful at this time. Uh, you have the temperance card, the tower, and the eight of cups. I feel like you're walking away from a disaster, really. I think the tower has already happened here. Um, you know, personally, I like the tower. The other thing I will say is a lot of people have had the tower again. So mark my words, I'm sure in the middle of the month here that, you know, between, you know, the next two weeks, the, the, the end of the month, whatever you want to call it, second half of the month, whatever. Um, you know, I feel that there's probably going to be a global tower moment, like a world leader stepping down or whatever. Last time I said this, the uh, queen of Denmark stepped down, right? Can't make this stuff up. Every single time this happens in my readings, something happens. So there you go. But, um, you know, the the time before that, the queen died, right? <laughs> the, the list goes on and on. So, uh, you know, there you go. But the temperance card is about patience. I feel like you've been patient enough. And again, I feel like the universe is just like tapping its foot, waiting for you to make something more simple. Uh, the tower is only seeing one way of doing things. Again, the tower is about ignoring reality, building the walls up around you too high and ignoring the, the facts, right? So to me, I like the tower. It needs to happen because, you know, if if the tower didn't happen, everything would always be the same. And, you know, it would be pretty freaking boring. And the other thing is, is that we wouldn't ever find better ways of doing things. Again, these people have been ignoring reality. They're being grounded in reality, brought back down to earth so they can see things for how they truly are. So they are being brought back down to reality. And I think that's what's happened in your life. I kind of feel this has been a slow process though. I feel like saying slow and painful. <laughs> so sorry, Leo, uh, I feel for you, but I definitely feel you've been through this period of time. You know, it could have been over the past couple of years or whatever. It's been like a slow tower, right? Uh, but I feel that you are walking away from this. I feel that you are taking control. You know, you had that emperor pop out. And whenever I have a pop out like that, you know, like this, where I put it over here for whatever reason, it always, kind of like says to me that maybe this is like the overarching energy of the reading. And so it's almost like you're taking control or taking the lead over something. Let's see. Uh, with the temperance card, you have the nine of cups. Yes. Um, yeah, it's definitely not time to get lazy. Like I'm not saying you would get lazy, but I'm just saying like, you know, I think that it's not time to rest on your laurels. I feel, um, but the nine of cups is a good card. It is a card of bathing in the energy of something that you want. So I definitely feel it is time for you to bathe in the energy of something you want. With the tower, you have the Ace of Pentacles here. Yep, uh, this could be a surprising opportunity <laughs> right here. This could be like a big surprise coming in for you. This could be something that really supports you in life as well. So if you're looking for like a business or to start a career or something like that, um, this could be a job opportunity and it could require a move. You know, this to me would look like something that is gonna require you to move to be able to have it. And so this could be like a job opportunity, business opportunity, whatever. And it does look like surprising. With the Eight of Cups, you have the Queen of Cups here. You know, I feel like you need to follow your heart, really. It's like your heart is telling you to do something. I feel like you need to put your own needs first as well. I, I'm pretty sure I always say this to you. So, I, you know, your heart is telling you to do something. Uh, you show up in this reading a lot. You know, wheel, you know, technically, Wheel of Fortune, um, the world as well. So it's like you're showing up here in, you know, very strong position because you show up on both of those cards. I almost feel like you need to take control of your life, you know, and follow your heart. Your heart is telling you to do one thing, but I feel like your head is telling you to do something else, you know, and, um, you know, I feel it's time for Leo to do what Leo wants to do is what this reading is saying. It's time to, for you to, um, you know, be an inspiration. Didn't I say something about like showing the world what you're made of or something earlier um, in this reading? It's almost like this reading is saying that you need to show the world your strength or what strength actually is, you know, and like now is the time. I feel like it's time for you to like motivate yourself, right? 
Uh, in the last row here for the good stuff, you have this card that says the past. The past is coming back, old job or old connections. I actually feel this could be very good. I do not think this is like a person. This could be like a past position, you know, a past job, or um, you could be like working with a person, again, that you used to work with, and it could be very helpful or, you know, it could be very beneficial for you. Uh, I'm also getting like something about clearing up, up karma, but this is like in work. You know, it's like, let's say you worked with a, worked for a company like years ago. It's like, you could be work. I have like weird stories popping into mind. Like you could be working for the same company or it's like, maybe you get a new job and a person you used to work with works there, <laughs> like at a new place, you know? And it's like, you kind of like rekindle your relationship, not romantically, but we're talking about like a friendship or something like that. And there's something about this. Um, you know, I think like this could be like a chance encounter, something that really helps you or whatever. It's like, I have a weird story popping into my head here, Leo, where it's like, you go to a place, you run into a person you used to work with and like then you go and start your own company with that person you know because you met again you know weird stuff like that you have this card that says don't soothe your pain with momentary pleasures yeah i definitely like it's like one of those years i'm, I'm not telling people what to do here right I don't care what you do, whatever, it's your life, right? <laughs> so let's get that out of the way right here, right now. Um, and I'm not gonna judge you either, right? I, I have my own vices, of course. But, you know, again, it's I think it's a great year to like, you know, quit bad habits and, you know, all that other stuff. So if you're into that sort of thing, go for it. If you're into drinking a bottle of rum every single night, go for it. Uh, you have the uh, world, the three of cups and the five of pentacles. World is a card of accomplishments. So I feel like you are going to be seen for your accomplishments. That could be a fear of yours, Leo. Like, um, you know, it's coming up in the good stuff, but it is popping into my head that you could be fearing that you won't ever be recognized for your accomplishments or that you won't get credit for the things that you do. But I actually feel this, this is credit for credit where credit is due, right? It's like you're getting recognition for whatever reason. That's what's popping into my head here. Again, some of you are definitely moving or you're getting an opportunity that involves moving or traveling or something like that. I definitely get that there. Uh, you have the three cups. Three cups is a celebration. So I feel like there could be a major celebration uh, coming in for you with the three of cups. And again, this could be a reunion as well. Like I said, I get this feeling about, but I feel like this is like work related, you know? So this might not be for all of you, but if you're having a reunion with a person that you used to work with or something like that, um, I don't know, there's something about that. <laughs> uh, you could be like starting a business with a person, a podcast with a person, I don't know, something is going on here. And um, you know, I, I feel that it's gonna be very beneficial, whatever it is. You have the five of pentacles, Five of Pentacles is feeling left out in the cold. So I feel for a lot of you that um, you're actually coming out of the cold because you are, you know, this is showing up in the area of the good stuff. So I feel like good things are happening for you. I feel like you're creating more, you're creating a lot of success. You're creating abundance in your life. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Uh, with the world card, you have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is a card of kind of putting up boundaries, but it's also my card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. So I think it would be an amazing time for experimentation or for you to try new things. Um, that's it. <laughs> I, I have nothing else. Uh, with the Three of Cups, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, what else was going on here? So like I said, I, I'm not surprised that there's more money stuff coming up here. The whole entire time during this reading, I felt money or that, that just seemed to be what the focus is. Yeah, there's a little bit of love, but uh, who cares about that, right? So I feel like there's something there's something much bigger brewing here. <laughs> and I feel like it has to do with you and money. It's like you have a date with money here or you have a date with something that could make you more money. So I see like more success and, you know, abundance and, and things like that. I also have a very weird story that I just have to get out. Like if, if you just recently got a job that you absolutely hate, um, like you just can't stand it, I feel like there's something new coming in for you, but you have to go look for it. You know, it's like some of you might feel like you're stuck in the job you have that you just got, but no, I feel like there's another opportunity. It's almost like, I also feel like I'm hearing that someone out there should reapply for something. Like if you applied for something like a job, you had an interview and you didn't get it, but the job comes up again, I would, I feel like you're going to get it this time. I literally have a crazy story popping in my head. Like someone out there, like if you applied, I literally feel that like if, when you apply again, I think the HR person or whatever might just like call you and be like, you're hired. <laughs> like they, they felt like they should have hired you in the first place and they hired someone else messed up and then now they're gonna hire you. I don't know, that's for like one of you out there. With the five of pentacles told you, you have the three of pentacles, credit where credit is due. Three of pentacles is being recognized for doing a good job, getting the recognition you deserve, right? Um, you know, it's a card of quality work. It's a card of being celebrated for the work that you have done. So, you know, there you go. Uh, we're gonna pull five main themes. Uh, there you go. You have this achievements card. This is Sun and Capricorn. The world is Capricorn. So for a lot of you, you could be uh, having achievements at this time or you're achieving something great or you're working towards it. You have this patience card. I feel like you've been very patient in creating your kingdom, 
you know, the Leo, the, well, I don't want to say the Leo kingdom because uh, of the Leo king, but the Leo kingdom, right? It's like you are creating your own uh, kingdom here. You are creating your own, you've been very patient in building something very secure in your life. Uh, you have this authority card. Mm, I feel like you need to take, it, it's like you need to realize that you are the authority uh, here, you have the emperor as your overarching energy. It's like you are the authority in your life or you are becoming an authority. You have this flattery card. Mm, I, this is an interesting card because like it says, these two faces are facing away from each other. These two are facing towards each other. I feel for a lot of you, you could be attracting like a new person where it's like you see eye to eye. Um, so there definitely could be new love. I don't think it's a major focus here, but it is here. Uh, and finally, you have this indecision card. I feel like you need to make a decision. Uh, this right here is like an angel. And so it's like, there's an angel that's guiding you uh, towards something, but you're like over here, right? So I feel like you need to move towards your heart, uh, your inner guidance and, you know, all that other good stuff. But, you know, I kind of get this feeling of, you know, people, you know, seeing your strength from this reading and it feels really, really good. And also pay attention if you have like a past person as in a person you worked with or a buddy or like a friend or something popping back up, there's something about that here that could make you money. It could be through like starting a business together. It, maybe they just want to give you money for whatever reason. I don't know, but I would pay attention to that. Uh, this looks really good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.